Good morning. It's Saturday. <laughs> I know I've been trying to like minimize complaining about being tired because like when I was editing a bunch of vlogs and I was like, man, I'm complaining about being tired every day, but oh my God, am I dying today? It's, it's so bad. It's, it's, it was actually coolish in my room last night. Like it was only like 25, 26, which is cool. But the night before it was like 29. So that was a struggle, um, degrees, if you're wondering. And um, I napped a little bit yesterday, but not a lot. And then I couldn't get to sleep regardless until like 2.30 ish last night. And then I woke up at like 5.20, which is something I very rarely do. Like I struggle to get to sleep, but once I'm asleep, I usually sleep straight through, but I woke up quite a bit and I just, I'm just dying a little. So that's where we're at today. I can barely keep my eyes open. It's just before eight. And I've mentioned before that we have like four hour calls. That's what our shift is. But like, you know, if you finish before the four hours, you can leave. I still get paid for the four hours, which is nice. And normally I don't, I try not to take advantage of that or abuse that because I'd rather fill the time. But I think today I'm just gonna try to finish everything I need to do as fast as possible because I still have two more work days after today and then just go home and go to sleep. So that is the plan. So I'm gonna have my breakfast drink and then try to get moving because right now, like I am so tired. It's just, it's, it's not good. So that's the plan. I'm gonna try to get out here by 10, I think, but we'll see if it's feasible. There's also a pizza hat wearing cat Oh my goodness, there's so many animals too. Like, it's ridiculous, but why? <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I would think that animals probably number 30% of the um, pictures that are up there for people to watch. <laughs> Unfortunately, today is the actual day of the show, so this is the last day that I can gawk at the weird, weird animals and questionable choices people have made. I mean, honestly, I love it, <laughs> but like the point of it <laughs> is so that the dancers can look out and see someone they love or that loves them watching them dance. And like I get the cats and the dogs, I still don't get the chipmunk, but <sighs> anyways, I'm more awake now, which is pretty fantastic because I was dying earlier. Um, but I still think I'm probably gonna leave early. I've been busting my butt here. It's just about 10, I'm thinking like 10.30 maybe. Um, I think I currently have everything done, but I'm going to take a couple minutes to go over everything and reflect and make sure that we are good to go. Because like when I'm, t I have a routine, I have a routine, I have a routine. And that sustains me when I'm very, very sleepy, but <sighs> I, I need to stop now and be like, but am I right? So that's where we're at. Maybe I'll take a break and just kind of see. But I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And with that, I am packing up to get out of here. It is 10.30, so I am leaving early. But the reason that I don't take advantage of being able to leave early all the time, because like oftentimes I finish my work before I've been here for four hours. But the reason I don't take advantage of it is because one, I don't want to abuse it obviously because it's a nice privilege to have. And two, for days when I just can't. For days when I just need to get in and just like do as much work as I can as quickly as I can so I can run away. That is why I do not abuse the, I, I, I can work um, only as long as it takes and still get paid for four hours. So I feel a lot better now. I'm still hoping to go home and have a nap just so I can function for the rest of the day. I'm thinking, say sleep for like an hour and a half, two hours. That's the hope. And then um, I think it's like, it's grocery shopping <laughs> week. Uh, so we have a bit of a list. So maybe then go do groceries and then come home and do laundry because I'm going to my auntie's for dinner tomorrow and um, the cute clothes that I wanna wear are super dirty. Just not super dirty, just to have them wash them. So that's the plan for the rest of the day, I think, is going to be nap, <laughs> grocery shop, laundry, and then continuing to sew things. I'm actually, you know what? It's gonna be cutting <laughs> terry cloth squares. I put away my sewing machine last night 
because I only have like 12 more clips left, which isn't enough for the amount of wristlets I have left to do. So I was like, hey, I'll switch focus to cutting terry cloth for a while. And I want to also cut terry cloth. I did, I, <laughs> I went to Fabricland yesterday and I got um, more terry cloth. So I also have to wash that today. So hopefully things will go well. I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I think I got everything done. I'm fairly certain I got everything done. I can't think of anything glaring that I missed, so I think we're okay. I just got a text. Pretty sure that means my ride is here. So I'm gonna just put this on. <laughs> this poor sweatshirt, it's it's dead. It like has holes in all the wrong places. <laughs> like there and like the entire cuff is starting to, to come apart. I just can't bring myself to part with it, but that's a problem for another day. I'm gonna pack this up and then we're gonna have a good rest of the day. Alrighty, so my afternoon has definitely had some um, unexpected things that I did not expect. <laughs> oh, so I got home and I climbed to bed almost immediately. I think I got like an hour and a half of a nap, which is like totally okay. It'll be enough to get me through the day for sure. And then I woke up and I had a message from like 18 minutes before I woke up from my breakfast buddy that said, what are you doing right now? And I was like, just waking up from a nap. Uh, what's up with you? And, or no, she asked if I was working. I was like, no. And she's like, so you're at home? I was like, yeah, I just woke up from a nap. And she was like, I'm in town. I was like, okay, cool. So we were like trying to figure out if we could like swing by each other. And then we were also going downtown. So we just met her downtown in the parking lot hangout and then the rain just started pouring. I was getting soaked, but um, we chatted for a while, which was super nice. And she gave me some of the hot goss on <laughs> the new staff that have come out because there's two new staff members because like all the seasonal staff are new this year. I won't know any of them. So the cook has arrived and at least the first server. I don't know if there's even more than one server. So that's exciting. Um, and then we went to Superstore to do our grocery shop and my cousin and his fiance were <laughs> coming out as we were going in. So we stopped there and chatted for a while. It's like crazy. I haven't seen them forever. And um, I'm seeing them tomorrow for dinner, but then I saw them today, so that was exciting. And I found out that my cousin does not have his vaccine yet. So I'm like, he's like, well, I just figured, you know, there's people who need it more than I do. I'm like, go make your goddamn appointment. <laughs> um, and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Cause I'm like, there, there's, there's enough vaccine that you can go and get it now. So then we went into the store and we had a list, but I was like thinking, oh, I should probably start getting stuff for Blind Channel. And um, so I got a new toothbrush. I think I'm gonna do a video of like showing everything I packed to work remotely for, to work in a remote location, I guess would be the better way to put that for two months. So I always like to get a new toothbrush, <laughs> new deodorant, toner, <laughs> and then, and I got like some food things like pasta that, if it's still here when I go, I'm taking it. If not, that's fine too. But I love these to-do um, lists because they've got like a part where you can check off. I use them all the time. They're expensive though. There's how many sheets? 50 sheets and they're usually like between five and six bucks, which is kind of expensive. But this was discontinued. It was 44 cents. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. And so I bought everything that was left. <laughs> Them, but it was still cheaper than getting one of these at regular price. So we'll be good for a while now because I'm on my last one. And so I've been kind of like not using it, which is not great because we all know I'm a list person. So anyways, that, and then they had some flags and these have the purple and blue, which are the colors I use the most. So that's great. Also 44 cents each. So that's a win. I'll have to find somewhere to put them, but we'll figure it out. And um, then, yeah, we just got groceries and stuff. But it is now pouring rain outside. I need to do laundry today, though. Like, need, need, need to do laundry. So I think I'm probably going to have a shower first. Like, see, my list today was just on this. I'm going to transfer it to an actual list sheet. So I think I'm going to do, I think we have a shower first, and then I think it's supposed to clear up a little bit later. I'll do laundry then. And, um... Yeah, I think it's just going to be kind of a get in my ducks in a row day and then hopefully cutting terry cloth later. But we will see because I feel like I have a lot of things to do. But it was so great to see my cousin and his fiance because, like, I don't remember when I saw them last. <laughs> like, in physical form. It's 
crazy. Oh, also, look at this ring I got. I got it on Etsy. It's a little frog. Can you see him? Can you see him? Anyways, it's a little frog and like a lily pad. Super cute. And I got one for my grandma that was supposed to be a dragonfly and I thought it was supposed to look exactly like this and it looks nothing like this, but it was two bucks, so on clearance, so what can you do? Anyways, I'm gonna go and uh, I think shower, like I said, get things sorted, get my laundry sorted so it's ready to go when it does stop raining and you know, <sighs> all the following steps. <laughs> I look super naked, I promise there's a towel. Um, I was just like, I, I'm now saying 20 days until I go to Blind Channel, which is less than three weeks. I mean, just less than three weeks. But now that I'm like looking at the date and seeing the 5th and knowing that I'm going out on the 25th at the latest, I'm kind of starting to panic a little bit. <laughs> I know I've got like, a, I know I'll probably be fine because like basically I've got until the end of next week to get all the stuff sewn that I want to sew and get the tags printed and made. Like that's my plan. Okay, so that'll bring us to like, the 13th <laughs> at, whoa, which is then like so close um and then that weekend or like sometime the following weekend I'm gonna do my grocery shop and so like that's gonna be probably from like the 13th on is gonna be starting to like really gear in and like pack and stuff but <sighs> normally I start to pack in May because I'm like gotta make sure I got everything, gotta make sure we're good. I'm trying not to do that this year because I end up packing and repacking and packing and repacking and packing and repacking. So I'm just trying to like wait it out. Um, but also because of my desktop situation and getting this cart over here to hold stuff that's normally on my desk, I don't have that staging space like I normally do where I keep totes and I stack them. So I don't really know where I'm gonna keep my totes once I get them out of storage. So it should be, should be interesting, but I'm sure we'll be fine. But I'm clean now, so that is step one on the day. I've lost my list, so that's great. Um, <laughs> but I was like, I'll shower first because I want to wash my towels and then I'll wash them as well when I do the laundry. So that way I didn't have to wait until the laundry is done. I really needed to shower. So yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know how much crafting purposes things I'll get done today. And I'm also starting to get to the point where I need to edit some more vlogs to catch up on that. So we got lots to do. It's going to be a busy push to the end of the month. Um, and work is pretty busy, although my Thursday shift is gone for most of the month, I think. Also, I just remembered that there's a power outage tomorrow morning at like 4 a.m. So I have to make sure to turn everything off tonight so we don't have problems. Okay. Ah, so much, so much stuff, so much stuff, but I feel good now that I'm clean, did some skincare, and um, I'm gonna get dressed, and it has stopped raining, I believe, so then I can start doing laundry, which is gonna be a huge step in the right direction. Alrighty, so it is getting uh, late in the day, it is after eight, and I'm starting to worry that I'm not going to get as many things done as I hope to do. After I last picked up the camera, I made a very ambitious list <laughs> and, and I have been making strides like my room is mostly clean my bed is made for the first time in probably a couple I want to say weeks like it's been bad maybe not quite that I made it right before I went to bed last night which I don't think really counts my laundry is done which is exciting and I have transferred a bunch of footage I was hoping to edit a bunch of vlogs today because I was like oh I only have one more going up but past me really came in clutch and I have five vlogs ready to go I just need to do the thumbnails for them so like that's not bad <laughs> could be worse so I don't need to focus so much on that today um I think what I'm gonna do next is uh, try to figure out how to speak properly is do invoicing get that out of the way so I don't need to worry about it tomorrow and then I think then we'll just figure out kind of how I'm feeling and how much time I have left to accomplish things. Seems legit. I think that's a decent plan. Hopefully we can cut some more terry cloth. At least hopefully I can cut the terry cloth that I already owned because there's not too, too much of that left. Because um, the terry, new terry cloth is washed, but it's like two meters and it's such a pain to work with. So we'll see. Anyways, we're going to get to work and see how conscious we can stay and um, all that fun stuff. I'm really glad that I didn't decide to vacuum <laughs> before I cut this terry cloth because like yeah. Anyways we have 150 squares of terry cloth cut 
the um, I cut all the terry cloth that I had. This terry cloth that I got, can I say terry cloth anymore, is slightly different than this. I think the uh, outer side is like the exact same, but this has like almost like a, a velvety back. I don't know, this is really soft and then this side is just, nope, that's the same as, <laughs> this side is just the same as that, but I think it'll be perfectly fine. So I have 125 of those. I still have a hundred of these, so I'll have a couple extra of those, and honestly, like, I still, you see that? That's more terry cloth, so I'll have lots more later if I want to make something out of terry cloth. I got invoicing done as well, which is great, so I don't need to worry about that, and I think I'm probably going to call it for a night, because it's, um, 10.30, and I'm going to try to get to sleep, uh, she says. She always says. But it's only 26 degrees in here, and I don't think it's going to get too much hotter, because it's only 11 degrees outside. So I think I'm going to take some time, clean this up. I'm going to turn my desktop off and power it off and probably also turn off the surge bar. It's connected. Un unplug that probably. Yeah, unplug it. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to spend some time tidying tomorrow. I think if I have time, the plan will be to sew these before I go to my auntie's house, but I don't know, like, Maybe they'll be like, come over at two, and I'll be like, okay, I'd love to come over at two because I haven't seen you guys forever. Um, my laptop, I don't know what is up with it. Like, you leave it for two seconds, and it just goes straight to sleep. I'm so confused. Anyways, I should probably look at the settings. Um, I'm going to tidy up, going to clean, and then tomorrow the plan will be sewing these and probably also thumbnails. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Well, hello. There is so much fluff on this lens. It is the next day and I have returned to the theater. Terry cloth, am I right? I've got like this, <laughs> we got this weird situation going on here because um, dance. <laughs> so this is blocking our front doors so that dancers can change in here if need be. So that's exciting. I mean, I guess, anyway. It's before eight. <laughs> I am here to do my four hour shift. I'm feeling much more rested and rejuvenated and I am ready to take on the day to day. Unlike yesterday, yesterday I was definitely not ready to take on the day, but I am here. Oh yes, we can chill. <laughs> and yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great today. <laughs> yesterday after, I think the last time I picked up the camera, I think I just puttered for a bit and then climbed into bed and um, didn't wake up a million times. So all in all, very positive. Very excited to go for Din Din at my auntie's tonight. Cause like I said, I have not seen her outside of the theater <laughs> since mid August when she came to Blind Channel. <laughs> and like, even so like, she and I typically don't work the same days. I used to always work Tuesdays, but then my schedule changed. And so I work like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> every day but Tuesday. And she only works Tuesday here. So yeah, fun times. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't really know what else is. I'm, I'm a <laughs> English is not my strong suit oftentimes in the morning. <laughs> I think today between work and hangout, I think it's tough. I'm like, either I need to do thumbnails, well, I do need to do thumbnails, or I want to sew. I should probably do the thumbnails because that deadline is a little tighter and then just spend a lot of time sewing those squares. I'm just like, I'm just thinking about, blah. wow. I'm thinking about all the effort those squares are gonna take. Like, I still have almost 100 to sew. I've already sewn about 96, and then I have to clip all the threads, clip all the corners, flip them, and sew them again. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a push to get everything done by next Sunday, which is a week from today, which is what I'm hoping. But I'm optimistic. <laughs> I have Tuesday off, and I actually think I have Thursday off this week. So you know, should be good. I just love sewing so much, so it's totally not work. But I'm gonna go like get to work. Work. It's um, 20 to 8, so I'm gonna probably have my breakfast drink and watch a YouTube video, as is my morning routine typically. And then we will get this show on the road. People are here early again today. Um, let me let me check. Let me check when people show up. Dancers get here at 10:30 today to rehearse before their show, and so I think techs are here at like. 
10-ish, maybe a little bit earlier, I don't know. Alrighty, so <laughs> it's break time now. It's almost 11, well, it's 22. Um, I barely got my stuff done downstairs. I need to get done before people showed up and I didn't get it done to the best of my abilities or my standard, but at least it's it's functional. I have my <laughs> easy mat here for my little snack rooney and I'm in the boardroom because I can't hang out in the lobby because there's gonna be people in the lobby and like the lobby is where I take my breaks. So I guess we're up here and I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video, eat my snack. Drink my pop, so healthy, I know. And um, can then figure out kind of what I'm, I, I, I planned my day and um, the plan is not going as expected. So I need to kind of, once I'm done my break, figure out what I'm gonna do for the last hour of my shift because a lot of the areas where I work in are inaccessible to me at the moment, so. We'll see. So, you know how last night I did such a great job of making sure to power off all my electronics and unplug them so that if there was any surges, it would be okay? Well, I did a terrible job at planning for the fact that the power would likely be out when I got home. The power is out. <laughs> it is one o'clock. It could be out until like up to four o'clock. <laughs> and um, you know what you can't do without power? run a sewing machine. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you had one of those like really old like pump ones, you could, I don't. Um, <laughs> can't edit my thumbnails because I did not transfer the files from my main, my desktop to my laptop. If I'd done that, I could have, idiot. Um, <laughs> and uh, can't edit vlogs because everything's on my desktop. So I think what I'm gonna do because I haven't done this for a while. I'm going to do my makeup because why not? I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere that is not the grocery store or I'm putting on makeup. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that because that'll, you know, give me something to do for a bit. I'll probably make my bed and I've got this hamper of clothes over here to fold. So it's just forcing me to do things that I would definitely put off otherwise. So I guess I will do that. It looks super pale and I don't think I'm this pale in real life, but it, I don't know, it's hard with the lighting. The lighting is not great, obviously, without power. It's, it's a cloudy day too, it's not even sunny. Um, but yeah, so I think that's the plan. I guess listen to some music while we do that. I did not foresee this, my, my brain even though I knew it was likely, just never had the possibility. Oh, and the reason that the power is out is because they're replacing um, power poles. Is that what they're called? I guess so. Um, and they're replacing them over that way, and they're replacing them over that way. So we're like right sandwiched in the middle of where they're doing this. So I think it's gonna be till four o'clock. So I think I'll probably, like I said, do my makeup and maybe start to tidy and then reach out to my aunt and see if like she wants to, you know, hang out for a while, if <laughs> she's not busy. All right, so, um, it's like 10 o'clock. I basically was doing my makeup because makeup is fun. Let's get the hair down because my room is actually 22 degrees, so it's reasonable. I had my hair up because allergies and um, hair makes it worse. Anyways, so let's do the makeup. It's still staying pretty well considering it's been many hours. But my aunt texted me while I was doing it. So I ended up going over at like two. So I was there for almost eight hours. It was so great because it's been like so long. And so it was me, my aunt, her boyfriend, my two cousins and my cousin's fiance and Maverick. Oh, it's gotten so big. And then Duke, which is my, I guess now technically my cousins and his fiance's um, dog. And um, I did get some footage. If I can get to transfer, if I remember, I will transfer it. I'll put it in because they're just like wrecking balls. Oh, we've gone too far. No, no. <laughs> Don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> what is happening? But yeah, it was so much fun. So many puppies, so cute. I'm probably covered in hair. 
I mean, that's not mine. Actually, you know what? It's, it's not the worst. Oh, we had dinner and then we had, we played Buggy Your Neighbor or like Up the River, Down the River, or it's kind of similar to Hearts. <laughs> um, and then just chatted and hung out. My aunt sent a um, contact form to Blind Channel because she was like, what dates can we come out? I was like, well, these days and these days. And so she was like, Hi, I'm Tiffany's aunt. We stayed there last year. We want to come back again. Um, can we book these days? <laughs> and um, so they're booked in. So they're coming on the 10th and 11th of July. So like just shortly after I get out there, really like two weeks. So that's so awesome. And um, yeah, so it was busy. I I was already in the car and out the door when I was like, hey, maybe I should have brought my camera, but I definitely didn't. But it was just like, I haven't seen them forever. So it was just like really, really nice. So yeah. It was good. Now though, I think it's time to do things like get my room in order a bit. And tomorrow is, oh, tomorrow's Monday. And I have to bring my laptop to work tomorrow. Okay. Um, but like maybe get my sewing machine up so it's like ready to go tomorrow because obviously today was a day lost from sewing. One, the power was out. Two, I was socializing, but so worth a lost day in my book. So yeah, I think maybe I'll pull my sewing machine up and go from there and then tomorrow I definitely have to edit thumbnails. I am hemorrhaging subscribers right now which totally fine with. Um, <laughs> I, I think part of the problem is because I had a bunch of D&D content on the channel before but we've stopped playing D&D so I have no D&D content so I think slowly I'm losing people who subscribe specifically for that but totally fine because you know what <laughs> at the end of the day I just love looking back on these vlogs and having them for myself and so you know whatever zero subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. Either or. <laughs> I mean, granted, love subscribers, love interacting with people, but I'm not going to cry because I lost a couple, like three subscribers in the last two days. It's fine. I noticed because I don't have a lot of subscribers. Oh my God. I'm rambling. Okay. I'm going to go and, um, try to try to salvage some productivity today but not super optimistic it's gonna happen because I'm pretty pretty sleepy also I had so much allergy medicine <laughs> oh shoot we got a scrunchie order <laughs> um there's 18 regulars and then one extra large ah it's for my friend Bubs. she owns many of my scrunchies and thanks Thanks, Bubs, if you're watching this. I super appreciate your support. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on getting these organized. I've got the correct number and um, I will get them packed up and tagged and everything for her. And then whenever she can get by to grab them, that'll be awesome. So exciting. Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I got a bit of a mess because I also figured while I was going through the scrunchies, I could kind of sort out the ones I want to bring to, that I want to bring to Blind Channel versus the ones that I don't want to like I'm not gonna bring the Halloween ones to blind channel and like most of the some of the Christmas ones I'm bringing because like this is just really pretty that's a Christmas one and then like technically these plaid ones are Christmas ones too so some I'm bringing but for the most part no so I want to kind of get them all together so I could have a vague guesstimate of the size of tote I need so that's exciting it's gonna be a lot of work though getting them all prepped and tagged and everything that's go gonna be fun <laughs> It'll probably be okay. <laughs> okay, so it is quarter after 12 now and I am gassed. I very shortly am going to take off my makeup and go to sleep and hopefully get to sleep. It's also really nice. It's only like 23 degrees in here. So nice and cool. <sighs> I know that sounds crazy. Um, I've been working on these and these <laughs> and these. <laughs> um, I figured I would sew some and also figured that that would be the perfect thing to bring to work tomorrow fluff to work on um during the staff meeting because every one of them has these threads sticking up so i can work on cutting all the threads because that will take forever and i'll probably also bring um a pair of scissors to clip the corners as well so i could theoretically start flipping them perhaps i don't know because i've got all of these guys here and then in here whoops underneath the piles whoop, <laughs> I have another 
large batch. So I'm going to put them in these Ziploc bags here so I can transfer them and make sure they don't get dirty. And then um, I'm going to put them in my bag and then clear off my bed there so I can go to sleep. And clear off my face so I can go to sleep and it's going to be glorious. So um, I'm going to go now and I will see you in the next one. Good night. Yeah.